Finding your best, most comfortable and optimal position on the bike can take years to achieve. Professional bike fitters all around the world help thousands of cyclists every year, but their expertise can be quite expensive. What if I tell you that there is now an artificial intelligence tool that can give you good enough bike fitting results for a fraction of the price? In today's though, we are going to dive into my VeloFit AI based bike fitting tool and see seven reasons why it's a better option to consider over traditional bike fitting services. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. Bike fitting. These are two words that you've surely heard over several small talk cycling conversations. There are more and more bike fitting places everywhere because people love the service provided and they can actually make you go faster, be more comfortable, but most importantly, can prevent or solve an injury. But professional bike fitting services are quite expensive usually around that $300 mark per session, which is quite high. The biggest problem with bike fitting is that you leave their clinics, you ride for a few days or weeks, and most of the time, the fit is still just not right. There's always some more micro adjustment to do. So you have to go back, book another appointment, and spend more money. When my little fit reached out for me to try their new AI-powered bike fitting tool, I was right away intrigued with it. Having graduated from IT engineering, I've always loved to see technology change the world. I found out that using my VeloFit tool has seven advantages that bike fitters can't compete with. Advantage number one, it's convenience. With any smartphone and an indoor trainer, you can film your position and test any adjustment you bring to your bike. You can do a first fit analyze, adjust your bike position as per the recommendations, go out and test the position for a few days, a few weeks, then bring more adjustments, redo an analysis, and do that over and over again. So you can really see and test what works best for you. Advantage number two, the accuracy. The AI is based on over 10 million data points from thousands of professional bike fitters file. So it's able to give a very precise fitting recommendation that does the same accuracy ballpark as pro bike fitters. But before going on over the seven advantages, let's first of all truly test the AI. I will upload six different positions and analyze the result and recommendations. Position number one, my current position. This position is what I've been riding for the last 20,000 km, so I feel very good and comfortable with it. Position number two, I will lower my saddle by 20 millimeters. Position number three, I will raise my saddle by 20 millimeters from my original position. Position number four, I will move my saddle set back all the way back and with the seat post lower by 20 millimeters. Position number five, I will again have my step back all the way back, but I will have the height at my regular position. And for the position number six, we will also take a quick look at my girlfriend Gabrielle bike fitting recommendation. All right guys, so I am here on my VeloFit profile page. I will go through the full process of uploading your video file. And to be honest, it's fairly easy. So in this case here, I will upload my normal fit. So as you can tell here, uh, pretty simple, try to be against a plain background and try to also be well lit. I click on new session. Here I call it my velo fit uh, and this is my normal fit. Here with the fit goal, this is very interesting. You have three options. So either performance, performance and comfort or comfort. And when you choose performance, as you see uh, the little uh, avatar at the bottom, it will change position. So performance is just a bit more down, comfort, it's a bit more up, it's kind of obvious. So uh, here you type in your brand bike, which reminds wind space, the model is T1500. And what I love about my Velo Fit is, look at all of these options you have. You have road, gravel, mountain, triathlon, hybrid, time trial. So here I'll select road, select performance, and we'll click save. The next step is then pretty easy. I then just click upload first video, just click on choose file. I go to my folder and I will upload my video file. In all of this, you can do it straight from your phone as well. So that is nice to have. And now I will just click the analyze button. 
here we are uh, about a minute later and let's see the results so right away we are greeted with some recommendations and looks like my saddle height is perfect if I look at the saddle for an aft, it recommends me to move it back by five millimeters and recommend as well to raise my handlebar by 10. And the reach is good and there's no additional notes. So I will definitely test this out. And now if you move down here, that's where there's more advanced specification on your fitting. So what I love about my Velo Fit is that they break down every single angle so if we look here on the first one, the top of the pedal stroke, we see here angle ranges that are good or bad. So if we take the first one, the knee flexion, my knee is straight in the middle, so that's great. The hip is somewhat too close. That's interesting. So that's maybe why my saddle is a bit too forward. Uh, the back angle, again, a bit too low, it's 36. That's maybe not good. Uh, shoulder angle is good. The arm angle is maybe a bit high. And if you're not too sure about what it means, so that's a great thing about here. If I want to know more about the hip close, I just click on it and there's a lot of information for me to understand what means to have a closed hip. So the closed hip here refer to the angle formed by the shoulder, the hip and the knee on the top of the pedal stroke. So this is too close, apparently. Now, if we go to the bottom of the pedal strokes, uh, this seems, uh, again, there's a few angles that are off. The back angle here, that would mean I'm too laid down, 36, yeah. Uh, uh, optimal position would be here like 40 something. I'm at 36 because I do have a very aggressive setup. Now moving back to the front of the pedal stump. And uh, again, hip close, back angle is too low. Uh, four and a half, the half is too much. So I will definitely change that on my bike. What I do love here, they also include some data phases. So as you see the video, you can, it's pretty cool to see that all of it is from AI. So now I have a bunch of recommendations to do on my bike and um, I will surely do them. But for the sake of testing the AI and uh, I've done other bike fitting where I change on purpose all my data. So we have here, so the first one is I raise my saddle by 20 mil and if I look, and it says to lower my saddle by 10. It says to move again back, and it says to raise the handlebar. So same recommendation as the other one. If I go to the other one where I brought my saddle 20 mil down from my best position, here the eyes say it, it looks kind of fine. It looks good. Um, so this is something I will investigate. Maybe I have a lower saddle back to my profile here i've done another test where i've uh, so in, in, in this case i've let the saddle lower by 20 mil but i've moved back the saddle on the rail because now it says the four and a half is fine this time since the saddle was moved back it proposed me to move the handlebar shorter because i'm more backwards so it's not a bad thing uh it's all about like finding the right balance here and now just for the sake of testing the eye one more time I did ask my girlfriend Gabrielle to jump on the trainer. Here it's very interesting. Her saddle, she's very short and her saddle is quite at the front too. Maybe it's my fault to have set it up like this, but the AI here recommends me to move it back by five mil and I kind of agree with it. Uh, as we see, her, our hip is too close at 58 degrees and she has too much of a knee flexion. So the knee flexion exactly is this angle. Uh, so this will probably be fixed by moving the saddle backwards a little bit. You can see the video right here. So that was very interesting. I hope you like to see the results as much as me. But now let's get back to the seven reasons why the AI powered bike fitting tool is a great alternative to traditional bike fitters. Advantage number three, it's unbiased. It will give you recommendation based off data only. The problem with bike fitters is that they often are also affiliated with a bike shop or carry an inventory of products. So some shady bike fitters, not all of them obviously, but it's sometimes in their best interest to upsell you and force you to buy a new saddle, a new component directly from them. Yes, sometimes they are 100% right with the new components, but most of the time cyclist doesn't need new equipment, only need the adjustments. 
Advantage number four, you can learn so much about yourself and bike fitting in general. What I love about my Velo Fit recommendation is that for every data points, there's a bubble with the interrogation mark. And when you click on it, you have detailed, easy to understand information on the recommendations. You'll then be able to use this knowledge to help your friends and family to be more comfortable on the bike. Advantage number five, you can still access some expert review for a flat fee of just $75, which is great to give additional advice on your bike fitting in the event you have difficulty understanding the results from the AI. Advantage number six, you can fit all your bikes. Road, gravel, TT, commuter with either performance, performance and comfort, or comfort fit. You can make sure every bike has a great fit without paying hundreds of dollars per fit. And finally, advantage number seven, the price. A bike fitting session will run you around $200 to $400 every time. But with my Velo Fit, you can actually test it out for free with limited features and basic analysis or upgrade to the enthusiast and pay $35 to unlock more features and a two week window to test it out on one single bike. Or you can go pro and pay a flat fee of just $75 a year and have unlimited bike profiles and unlimited uploads for and a few more features. But now let's discuss a few drawbacks of an AI based bike fitting tool. This advantage number one, it's not perfect. It's hard to quantify the accuracy versus a professional bike fitter, but for a fraction of the price, I do believe that it can give you a 90% perfect position ballpark, which most of the time it's more than enough for everyone. Advantage number two, as of right now, at the end of 2021, there is no front facing analysis. So if your knees are wobbling, if your wrists are in a very bad angle or your cleats are in the wrong angle too, the side view might not be able to tell or see it, but maybe that will change in the future. Disadvantage number three, you need to have a basic understanding of bike mechanics. The AI won't change your saddle height or end the ball position for you. It would just tell you what it thinks it's better. You'll need some basic tool, mostly a set of Allen keys and maybe a few YouTube tabs on how to change a stem or how to change a saddle angle. But now, who do I think this My Velo Fit is for? I think this AI powered bike fitting tool is kind of for everyone. From the very beginners to some advanced cyclists, I think the information that it can give you can really make a positive impact on your cycling position or it can confirm your already great position. And now who it is not for? Anyone with an active injury. I'd recommend you to seek professional help. But again, the problem with bike fitting clinics is sometimes they don't have openings before a few weeks, if not a few months. So in the meantime, before your visit, what do you do? You stop cycling? You keep riding with the injury and make it worse caused by your bad position on the bike? Or you just give the AI a shot and let my Velo Fit fix your position on the bike. And then maybe your knee, your hands or your back problems will be solved. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. If you want to test the AI out, there will be a link in the description down below. As I always mention, I do receive a kickback from that cell, so it funds this YouTube channel for me to become a full-time cyclist, so thank you. If you do end up trying my Velo Fit, leave a comment down below and share your experience with everyone. I'd be very interesting to read your results and experience. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this though, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace. Thank you.